Right now, the top story is the kind of news that would keep rocking any former president, especially one trying to mount a comeback campaign, even if I'd be the first to admit it could also feel... You know, Alan, it's one of the simplest safety rules we teach our children. Don't open the door for strangers. And yet, despite one family's best attempts, it happened this weekend. Now, as police investigate, we sat down with the child. Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. East Palestine, Ohio is not a huge place. It's a town of about 5,000 people, not far from Pittsburgh. For many years, East Palestine was... With more voices calling for an end to the Ukraine war and the profits that come with it, we're going to need some new enemies. How about China and UFOs? Woohoo! <laughs> Hello there. What Edward Snowden just said about the UFOs is kind of terrifying and actually should concern all of us because it's not about aliens specifically. So NSA whistleblower, an American hero in my mind and on this show. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez as we turn to Ohio, where residents of East Palestine are living the real life. You're watching the legal breakdown. So, Glenn, we have some news out of Fulton County, Georgia. That's where Trump is being uh, investigated right now for asking Georgia's Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger to find 11,780 votes. Uh, Joining me uh, is uh, retired Air Vice Marshal Sean Bell. Sean, great to see you as always. Um, so, so let's touch on this uh, this issue of dwindling supplies of, of uh, ammunition more broadly. How, how big a concern? This hour, dramatic new details about the unidentified object shot down by fighter jets just miles off the coast of Alaska yesterday. Unlike the Chinese spy balloon shot down last Saturday, this object